Hello, this is Parallel Copage, and welcome back to Sheltered with 50% of the Bates family and their house guests, Patricia and our newest house guest, Arthur. He's currently on the radio, just having a listen out. You never know what's around. It is the post apocalyptic wasteland, after all. It could be anything. Excuse me, bear with me. Hello, Helen here. I've stumbled across the shack. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So this time around, uh, we are looking at expanding the base. I'm quite happy with how it's all gone so far, although I do believe we are short on pipes. I think it's pipes. It's been a while since I've uh, last uh, recorded. Base, Jack, Helen, look, someone here. Oh dear. Oh, she, she looks, you know, reputable. She, no bedraggled clothes here. She's got cargo pants on. That's a good thing. That, that says to me that she's prepared. She's prepared for any situation and any sort of carrying situation as well. Well, hello. Another one out here risking the dust and disease. That's very true, Francis. Not like I have a choice. Now, Helen, there's no need to be like that. This one's one of the go-getters. She's happy. She's happy. Although, if you do look on her, there is a slight little white... Just here, where I'm looking, there's a slight little white thing shining out of her pocket. You could get shanked, Helen. That's all I'm going to say. It's okay you're having a knife now, but, you know, she's got a hidden weapon, I think. We, we best be nice to her. If you think I can be useful, I'm all for joining up. What do you say, partners? Well, you uh, you haven't shown me what you're made of, so I'm a little bit reluctant. We are back to a full tally of four people, which is manageable. We can get a, a couple of teams out at a time, just have two people hanging about at the base. Um, I'm sorry, Francis, you seem to be doing pretty well, so... I'm going to leave it as is, okay? Now that I think about it, our place is not in the best condition right now. I don't think we can support another person. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that line before. It's always the same. I'll be seeing you. Aww. I, I, I generally feel bad now. She she did come across as quite nice. But, hey, you know, we're not out there to make friends. We're out there to raid as much as we can. Helen, Shaq, now you can find some stuff. Oh, ooh. We have a tyre. We need a tire for the camper van. Uh, right, okay, how are we doing for fuel? We're doing okay. As it stands, we've got space for everything, so we'll take everything. But a gun and two bullets. That's nice. That is very nice. So, yeah, we are looking at just getting our loyalty up with Arthur so we can start sending him out on the road. How are we doing for masks? We have four masks, which is all good in the hood. So I can see Kimberly is all right. Scanning radio and frequency does not yield any information. That's fine. How, Arthur, how are you doing? Go to bed, friend. Go to the bed. Um, see, Kimberly's okay. She's at full health. Patricia isn't at full health. And Kimberly's up and at him now. How are we doing for meat? Not too good. Right, so Patricia, if you can pop the mop and bucket around. Uh, Kimberly, if you eat, and then I think we'll send you out. Speed this up a bit. Go on now. Right, so Patricia, uh, you, mm, you don't need to eat. You, Patricia, could take a suit and go and harvest that one. That one's been there longer. And Kimberly, I think we're going to send you out. Hit girl hasn't been out for a while. She needs to go out. So, what are we doing? We are setting up an expedition with Kimberly by herself. And uh, where are we going to go? Where, where should we go? What should we do? The photo. Lumberyard visited 51 days ago. Hmm. Super irritating guy. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, there's nothing like uh, telling it like it is. Uh, those are okay. We we have a lot of water. That's the only thing. I don't know whether to get it just to do a local, a local run. So that's where Helen is. She's just been to the shack, so she's off in that direction. How much do you get there? Twenty-seven. That's no good. Yeah, it might have to be a local run. Which is a bit awkward, but hey-ho. Hey, 
I'll tell you what, let's let's get her to run 50 days. So it's been a while since we've been up here. It's going to be all plant life though, that's my only problem. Ah, yes, I remember now. You are doing the loop around there, aren't you? Good, 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 good. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get you going to the scrappy. So, how much to go there? 25? Ugh. I don't know. I don't. That's how. Should we get you to go to the folk? Let's go to the lumber yard. 13. Can we move on? 23. Lumber yard. 26. 24. That's a kind of a loop. Kind of a loop. Um, I think everyone else is okay for the alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> for the water at the moment. So. We'll just have a small trip out for Kimberly. Uh, she gets to take her handy axe, the super duper rucksack, and the mask. I don't think there's much else to take, so that'll do. So that's Kimberly out of the way. Uh, Arthur's sleeping. Patricia, you are about to harvest that trap. Awesome. Oh, we lost the snare trap as well. What is it to make the next snare trap? We're short on springs. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, we have enough for the freezer now. The medium freezer. Let's do that whilst we can. So, uh, we uh, want to deconstruct that. Let's remove the meat first. No, scrap that. Let's return the suit, and then we can remove the meat. I might have to shift everything around a little. So that should just be out. That's just out, right. So you can now deconstruct that. Knockety knock knock. I see you. I s oh. oh, we would have had the pipes out of that anyway. Uh, let's just get this. Jeffrey, greetings. I am looking for sanctuary. Do you grant such things? I am able bodied and hard working. Uh, sorry, Jeff, my balding friend. Uh, you're average, so no. Are you going to hit anything on the way out? Please don't. I was as polite as I could have been. I'm very weary now. Oh, what are you doing? Hang on, hang on. I want to see what he does. No, he's past that. Okay, okay. How about you? You dick. You are oh, what an asshole. Right, okay, so, Arthur, you, <laughs> you are being sent out, sir. You have stuff to do. Patricia, you need to build a freezer. Craft the item. Oh, it's way too big. Okay, we'll pop it down there. We'll make space for it in a second. Oh, that's not very good. Is that just because it needs to be made up? We can slide everything along. That's okay. We can cater for that. Oh, if only we had a snare. That'd be another, another one done. I'll get these hurrying up. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Fix it. Oh, and I guess that's going to be Kimberly. Ah, heaven. Bah. All right, so cross path with someone out here. Go on, have a word. They might have something. Wasteland. Oh, it's little Timmy. Back from school. No, Douglas, sorry. Whoa, so I'm not the only one out here. No, Douglas. Seems not. Putting the world back together starts with teamwork. So let's work together. What do you say? I say no. You're rubbish. I've given it some thought, and I don't believe we have the supplies to, to support you right now. What do you mean? You've probably got ahead of a lot more than I do, you selfish creature. One day you will be in this position, and who's going to help you? Who, I say? I have no idea. Douglas, calm down. Jeez. Right, so. Have you fixed that already? Oh, Lordy. That's because the wrong person. Arthur, sorry, my friend. You need to go back outside. Uh, Helen, in the scrapyard, go. Patricia... We will 
Let's see what needs to be fixed inside. The water filter is about to be done. The shower. Wow, the shower needs to be done. Let's, let's get you on the shower and the generator. How are we doing for fuel? Okay. Okay, okay. So you can do that and that. In the meantime, let's rearrange stuff. So the stove can go over there so we can move the fridge as close as we can to that. Do, do you move over? No. Uh, excuse me. Helen's base. I've stumbled across somebody. There's lots of people around. I'm just looking to trade. Just trading. That's all I'm after. I don't need people. Hey there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about this guy. He's got a knife and gun holster. That's not good. Stephen. Stephen, do you have anything to trade? I could use a few things if you want to make a deal. You come charging up to me with that. Okay. Bye, Stephen. The topless wonder. Oh, and again, Helen in the scrapyard now. What do we have? Oh, another tyre. Nice. Do we have a wrench? We do. A distributor. I don't think we've got one of those. So you will be useful. After that, it's the, well, it's the critical stuff. I suppose we could always use that. Transistors are low. We'll take both of those, plus they stack. A fuse would be nice. Tape we're okay for. Wood. We could always do with wood. We'll go for wood. I don't think there's anything here I'd, I'd drop. I'd probably... Do I get the wiring up? I don't see a lot of wiring on my travels. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go for the wiring. Uh, the coal really isn't of any use at the moment. I think we'll take the metal. And the rest will we'll, we'll survive with. That's fine. So, half are done? You, you're done, matey? Put the seat back then, son. Uh, oh, right. Kimberly to Patricia. My path is blocked by a ferocious looking creature. Oh, yeah. We'll get involved. Woodland. Please be a wolf. God bless you. All right, Kimberly. Go for the eyes. That's how we do it. And we'll take it all. Thank you, Wolfie. Yeah, we're good. She's like the Terminator in child form. That's an interesting concept, though. How come the Terminators never made child Terminators? Surely they would have been a lot more effective. Hello, this is Helen. I found a medium house. Looking for that. We need to rearrange stuff. So, let's move not to there. We can move the stove back. I think that's, that's going to be okay. Let's move the mop up. I've got space for another, uh, another bed if need be. Probably not though. Uh, saying that, Arthur, can you run the, uh, the mop about, please? All right, so I found something of interest out here. It looks like a person in need. Should I see if I can help them? Go on, then. I believe this is a quest in the game. Lumberyard. Wow, my antenna actually worked. So you've been browsing frequencies. There's someone nearby with something very dear to me. Kill them at any cost and bring it back to me. It's a photograph. I want it back. Wow, it... It's funny you should ask the most astute killer around in child form. I can understand how photographs mean a lot to people, especially now. I'll retrieve it for you. Excellent. I'll mark where they are on your map. I await your return. Don't let me down. Ooh, dark. Helen to base. I found somebody in this medium house. Yeah, got another word. Oh, it's... Uh... Ginny Weasley. No, it's not. It's Laura. Hello. Quite the day, huh? Well, I don't know. Trades have got anything to trade. Would you be interested in a trade? I'm sure we can make a deal. It's good to know opportunities for business still thrive, even in this godforsaken hellhole. You have nothing of consequence. Uh, we didn't pick up the tape. 
Didn't pick up the limestone. Arguably the petrol, but it's not worth 15, I don't think. No. But thank you. Nothing catch your eye then. I get good stuff a lot, so maybe next time you'll find something. Thanks, Laura. Okie dokie. Uh, Helen has a base, medium house. What you got? Right, nothing that stacks, although we do have a broken radio. Now, what would I swap out for a broken radio? What do we have lots of? Uh, lots of petrol, arguably. We're not desperate for petrol. Uh, let's do that. Why not? Uh, the way I figure it, once we get the radio into the recycler, that will give us more parts than just some petrol wheel, which we're not short of anyway at the moment. So that's my theory behind that, and I'm sticking to it. So, Patricia. Let's see. Oh, are you done, Arthur? Are you done? Helen found a church. Go, and then you can scan for frequencies. Patricia, let's see what you can make. Tier 3, what's new? What is new? We've done the bed. Uh, metal detector, very handy device that aids in locating objects. Yeah. I've still got enough to make a medium freezer. That's cool. Uh, oh, we're going to have to make a coffee machine. Or a shotgun trap. Lockpick set. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here which really interests me. A good shower, I suppose, would be good. Just about got enough to do all those. Let's do that. Patricia, deconstruct the dodgy shower. And then you can make the good shower. Uh, we also need to make a snare if we can afford to do that afterwards as well. Yep, thank you very much, Lee. Now, get to that if you would. Awesome. Helen, looks like this church has some stuff that might be useful. Uh, well, the wood will stack. How are we doing for pipes? We're a little low on pipes now. What do we have lots of? I think I'm going to drop the wiring, actually. And uh, nothing else stacks, does it? That'll do. That'll do. Uh, Patricia, why aren't you building stuff? Patricia? What's up? Why? Am I, am I missing something here? Is there, is there a reason I can't build that? We haven't got enough wood. But we... I'm, what? I'm, the, I'm sure we just had enough wood. Unless it's just been used by something? Oh, I don't know what though. I'm confused. There's definitely nothing in your... in your. Oh, is it you? Oh, it's you, that's why. Jeez. Resume. There we go. And then we'll look at making a, another um, snare trap. That'd be the word. Uh, hello, Helen. Small petrol station. Yeah, go on. I think Arthur is... Oh, well, he's hungry, that's for sure. We've got no meat. Where's my meat gone? Arthur, get back on there, son. Patricia? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, broadcast? No, 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 no. Scan frequencies. And then when you're done, scan frequencies. Patricia? It, is, do, can you, like, 
get the meat out of there? No. I presume it's in there. So if you take meat out of the freezer, it just, it's out and that's it. It what, just like instantaneously evaporates or what? This is ridiculous. Where's my meat? Where's my meat, damn it? I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Uh, this is Helen, a uh, small petrol station. Go. So the wood's going to stack. Maybe I should have picked up the petrol. There's a lot of petrol on this run. Food we're doing okay. I'm, I'm trying to be careful with the water. No. Sorry. That'll do. That'll do. I, I think we better send Patricia to bed. No. No. Let's get to do the snare first. I'm sure we can build a tier 2 snare. Nice. Oh! No, 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 no. Done it again. You're going to wear the suit first. Then you can make the snare. Oh. Resume. Right, she's done. So return the suit, then you can go to sleep. Arthur, you're doing okay. Uh, hello, Helen here. I've stumbled across the florists, and it looks like you might have some good stuff. I say okay. Right, you're not doing too well, Arthur, on this whole scanning of stuff. Making me worried. Making me worried. Let's have a quick look. Everything appears to be A-OK. -okay. Or at least not anywhere scary low. So that's fine. Uh, Helen, florists, go. Uh, we've got a pipe. And that'd be it. We could take the seeds, arguably. We still can't build anything. I really want Helen to come back with all the bits she's got for the camper van. Because that is awesome. But no, that'll do. Keep on keeping on. Uh, Kimberly, across the clearing. Yeah, let's have a look. This is where we're not going to find anything too juicy, I don't think. Uh, hello, Helen here. I'll still across a small police station. Now I'll have some bullets in if uh, it all goes according to plan. Who are you? Donna and Carl. Donna, you're leaving Carl behind. He only has one eye. He has no depth perception. He doesn't know how far ahead you are. He thinks he's keeping up. She don't care. She don't care. Uh, Kimberly to base. I found something in this clearing. Are you interested? Yes. Uh, so we have garlic, oak bark, ginger root, and passion flower. I'll oh, take it all. Got nothing else to take. Tippy top top. Is Patricia got over it? Wow. I know our water supply is dangerously, dangerously low. There's not a lot I can do about it right now. Head into base. I found something in this small police station. Yes. A grenade. Well. It seems a bit OTT, in all fairness, in, you know, in, t in today's day and age. In this post-apocalypse, if you will. I think throwing a grenade is probably taking it to the nth degree. Which we don't need to do. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Patricia, 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 what should we get you to do? Let's get you to take the suit and harvest that. We need some meat in here so we can at least feed you and Arthur. Arthur might as well go to bed once we're done with that. Let's get these guys up and at them. So a bit more meat. Uh, a little bit of leather and animal fat. Awesome. You may now take that off, Patricia. So meat-wise, we should be doing okay. Five. Out of twenty. Uh, you could probably do with eating soon. I'm going to delay it as much as possible, simply because we haven't got the water. And I think as soon as they eat, they're going to want to uh, drink and use the shower and the toilet and all that. Is there anything else we can do here? What do we need to upgrade this now? Wood. Lots and lots of wood. Okay, what about upgrading our generator? Oh, 
Well, we could do the durability. That would probably make sense. Or even the capacity. We're going to be using up the pipes either way. I think durability makes sense, so it doesn't break down as quickly. Capacity is not so bad. Uh, you can add some fuel once you've done those. That'll great. Da 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 da. Oh, so are we, are we are we are we there, Arthur? Come over here, Arthur. You're going to drink, and I can't afford to get you to drink. Uh, you can scan frequencies and scan frequencies again. Patricia, you're doing... Can, actually, can we turn off Arthur's thing yet? Yeah, we can. Tip top. Right, so Patricia. Patricia, Patricia. What do we get you to do? Let's have a quick look. Uh, the oxygen filter and the stove arguably could do with a little bit of a, of a get-go. Repair sesh. I suppose if we're going to have Helen coming back soon, we could probably do fixing the bed as well. Although it's not that badly damaged. If I had the water, I'd send you out. But I do not have the water. Uh, Patricia, take the suit. Go and fix that, just to give you something to do. Kimberly, I found a shack. I'm going to have a look. And you can fix that. Can we upgrade any of these? Probably not. We've used all our metal stuff. Net on the oxygen filter. Ooh. Could do the efficiency. We've got lots of leather and rubber. We'll get you to do that once you've done this. Um, Kimberly, there's a shack. What do you have? Another gun, another tyre. Wow. Cool. So let's take the tyre. We'll take the gun, it's worth a bit. We'll take the bullets, defo. Pipes were low on, wood were low on. That would give us a small amount of wood on top. We've got some broken radios coming back anyway. Realistically though, I think I'd probably swap out some of this stuff. We've got homemade stress remedy, homemade antibiotics. Let's get rid of the garlic in favour for the wood. I think that will be sufficient. Yep, 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 yep. So Patricia's going to fix that and then we shall get her to upgrade this. Awesome. Um, Arthur, yeah, you're busy, busy, busy. Scanner frequencies, yielded nothing. Arthur, is is it your um what's the word I'm looking for? Charisma, maybe, which is causing you to suck. Helen here, I've stumbled across a shelter. Yes, do that. Oh, more meat. Boom. Patricia, whilst you're out there, if you would please. Uh Kimberly to Patricia, my path is blocked by a ferocious looking creature. Well, let's finish this episode off with a fight, I guess. Please be a wolf. Huzzah. Go to it, Kimberly. Boom. No messing. Kimberly the Wolf Slayer. Bring the meat back. We'll, the, well bring it all back. We can afford to collect it all. Oh, and there goes the dexterity. Nice. Nice. So, yep, yeah, we've got that as well. Tippy toppy. So, Patricia, if you can take that off. And then I think we're all good for this episode. Quite a productive one. Got a few things done. And we've got a fair few bits coming back for the camper van, which is awesome. I'm going to think about winding this up. Uh, so I'm going I'm to try and think of an end game. I think it might be us completing building the camper van and all jet setting off into, into the sunset. But um, I'll, I'll figure something out in between episodes. That is, unless, you know, we die from lack of of water which is how it's looking right now but we'll, we'll hopefully get to that at some point oh there we go you ask for it and it comes we'll deal with this next time around we're gonna have a massive shower session thank you for watching so <laughs> so yeah
not much more to say. Thank you for watching. <laughs>